A year has passed since the massive port explosion rocked the heart of the city Beirut, leaving more than 200 civilians killed, over 6,000 injured, and hundreds of thousands internally displaced. Not a single official report was issued to tell the people the truth of what has happened during this ammonium nitrate explosion that left the country in shatters. To know more about the investigation, we are joined today by Diane Asaf, a lawyer and activist who herself has lost a very dear friend in the explosion. Thank you, Diane, for joining us today. Thank you. Where are we at with the investigation? So one year has passed and we still don't have one answer and not one single high-ranked official or politician has been held accountable. The Lebanese judiciary is not capable of reaching the truth or holding the murderers accountable because the Lebanese politicians interfere in the judiciary. They don't uh, comply with the legal decisions and they hide behind their immunities. And the lead investigator, uh, Judge Tariq Bitar, uh, works with very limited resources and doesn't have a, like a team to support him. So although we have some good, competent, uh, ethical judges, the problem is with the judiciary as, uh, as, a, as, a, as a whole, as a system. So this is why we demand the establishment of an international, impartial, um, and uh, an independent investigative mission. Do you believe that such a mission can bring justice to the victims and their families? And would it eventually lead to some change in the country? Of course it will lead to change. And anyway, change has started already, even before August 4. Uh, change has started since the October 2019 uh, revolution. But of course, uh, the Beirut blast was the biggest uh, turning point uh, in our lives. This time, Lebanese people will fight till the end uh, until justice is served. Lebanese people are adamant about finding the truth. This nation cannot heal without the truth and without uh, justice. We are fighting 30 years of corruption, of incompetence, of uh, murders, and of impunity. Uh, we are aware that uh, drastic transformation cannot happen overnight, but it's definitely the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. It's, it's a new dawn, that's for sure. Hoping that the Lebanese will see a fresh new dawn with this uh, investigation that can heal some of the wounds that have been over the past 30 years. Um, this is Carol Malouf reporting from Beirut for Euronews.